All right. We'll keep this one short. It's too easy to figure it out. I hope this message goes well. This is really a no-brainer, but I'll call it a prophecy anyways. Uh, it's not just a prophecy. I'm going to also put in like a stark warning. It's not... Uh, how do you follow this? It, this is not a threat. It's just a warning, caution, and just to hear, just like I tried to give before, France is going to be fighting in Nigeria and whatever the other troops are coming from the side of Nigeria and uh, I'm, I'm not familiar with the country that surround Nigeria but I do know the terrorist groups ISIS and the terrorist group uh, Al Qaeda is there the Wagner group just pulled up. They're arming um, the Nigerians with guns, ammo, mortars, whatever else, to fight the French. Well, with uh, the terrorists backing up, pretty much being the supply chain from Russia. Russia only has to put the airdrops and supply the terrorists and the terrorists take it to their base and the base guys take it to uh, the militias that Niger has and they go and they fight the French. They die, they kill. But here's this big stark warning. If Europe can't pull together and help France. It's going to be a disaster. I hope France gets the help it needs. It's asking for help from its neighbors. I'm not French. But I sympathize for them right now. I wish Italy and Spain and Germany and UK and wherever else, whoever else is right around in the area will help. Norway, Sweden, all of them. Just send, send a battalion or two. Help, help, help out France. Get some battle experience. Get some cohesion together. You're all so worried about Russia and all that them crossing over Ukraine and just crushing Ukraine and going through and, and possibly doing like they did in World War II, going all the way to Germany and just wiping everything in their path out. Like, you're, the Europeans, you people are still worried about all that. I get it. But, if you're so worried about it, start doing this. Start working together. Apples and oranges, start working together, start interlacing with each other. Quit bickering and pointing your fingers. And hollering and doing more condemnation and criticizing than you are action. Start doing some action, start working together again. Give me a time when you, all Europe needs to pull together, probably in the near future. And Europe is going to be sorry for not having some type of battle experience and cohesion working together. You can't just wait for your neighbor to fall and, and hide under a table with, with your pop shotgun and, Oh, I hope the wolf don't get me. He got my cousin outside and now the wolf's inside and, and, and I hope he's not hungry anymore. Man, are you serious? My metaphors may be out, out, out there a little bit, I get it, but really I'm trying to be truthful as possible. I'm trying to cut home as much as possible where
the rest of the European countries, they, they could definitely just send a battalion or two of infantry or a battalion of tanks or, or something to help out. If it's not to just help Macron, it just better your military by getting them to work together. I mean, I don't care if you like the prime minister of your neighbor's country. Just get your own military moving and working together and test your stuff. Why not when somebody else is already there with you and you're willing to work with them? Cut a deal. Don't be so close-minded. Also, the second part of this is since you're fighting Al-Qaeda and you're fighting, um, oh, what's the other terrorist group? I forget them, whatever they are. ISIS, Al-Qaeda, you're fighting the both of them. Just remember this, Europe, the leaders out there, if you ever watch this, if you ever do. Your countries are full of these extremists. They may not hang their flags out their windows and they may not walk around like they did in Iraq when they were shooting at us. Alright, but the deal is your countries are full and some of you countries in Europe have more extreme terrorists that are waiting to do something then you have your own population you, you've taken in so many from Iraq, Afghanistan, Syria, Lebanon uh, Africa where, where they have just came in in droves a lot of people came in to your countries and now you're fighting the, the people who, I guess, supposedly they ran away from, but secretly still support? Just please be careful if you decide to aid France in fighting the terrorists over there in uh, Africa. Make sure you got your home unlocked, too. Don't just send all your military away and and uh, hope for the best. You gotta watch your home streets too because home base really needs to be secured in Europe. You, if you don't do that, you, know, you gotta watch both ways. That's why I say you, you Europeans. Sorry, you people, but you gotta stop bickering and start uniting. Especially the leadership, I think that would really help a lot with a lot more open arms, like give me a hug type of deal, a good greeting with the leadership. I really think that'd be a lot better. The people seem to be getting along kind of fine and kind of good, but. The leadership, I think, that needs to have a little more heart, be a little less, I don't know. It's hard to criticize somebody when you, you haven't been around them long enough or you don't know what's going through their mind as much because you, you haven't been... You don't grow up the same way these people do. You don't have the same traditions as others. So I'm not really going to try and criticize the leadership of Europe. I'll let the people do that for themselves. People criticize their own uh, leadership. But I think it would be wise to watch home base if you're going to send troops out. That's it. Have a good one.